Good afternoon my cellmates. Um, today I am going to do an extreme, extreme, extreme waterfall pour. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go with my uh, split cup. Well, I've, I've cleaned off this painting because I didn't like the previous work that I did on it. So I've cleaned it off. I've got my silicon mat underneath, so see how we go with that, how long that lasts and if I like it or not, or if it's a pain, pain up the buttocks, then I will move on from it. So I'm going to do, um, yeah, my, my dog's playing around here. Behave yourself. I'm going to use my split cup. Um, to do this particular pour just got tiny bits odd bits of paint I'm gonna and I'm gonna do two different colors in each side I'm not gonna do the same color so I've got this little bit they're all Montmartre I'm using today this one's Montmartre uh, metallic silver um, if you're in Australia I have an online supplier that I get my stuff from I'm not paid commissions from them but they do send me uh, things to try so but that I find and uh, why I want to promote them is because they are um, really helpful they're really good priced and um, I don't mind recommending somebody who, um, that's willing to help people out and the uh, postage is quick so that's all good if you're in the US that I've also got a link if you come onto my acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page, I do have a link on there to um, the Australian Montmartre, uh, sorry, the US Montmartre site. So, okay, what are you going to go? I'm going to use, so that was the white. I used the copper and I've used the bronze teal in there. And go back to the copper or is this bronze one or the other so as I said I'm going to keep the two sides different so extreme waterfall pour here we come that's the gold 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 these are metallics mostly on this side, just with the exception of white and turquoise. So I say they're white and turquoise with the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. And these are the Montmartre Metallica, Metallica. So probably going to go completely two different contrasts to, to show a split personality, not a Gemini. I am not a Gemini and I have not got a split personality because what you see is what you get but just my description for this poor I'm not pointing the finger at anybody okie dokie I think that would be really nice all on its own those colors doing the pour out of a cup with those particular colors now I have mixed all of these colours up with the glue and water mix 70-30. Again in the on watching on YouTube there's a little V there, it's a drop down box and I will have my pouring medium there and um, how I've made up my pouring medium, how I've added it to my paints and I have actually added um, silicon to these particular paints because they were all made up quite a few days ago now always get the best results if I've made up my paints um, at least 24 hours ahead and I always add the silicon at that time too uh, the Helmar silicon that I use you don't have to add very much at all like a small coffee small cup I would only add two 
then the bit bigger one only four so that was the Montmartre turquoise, Montmartre orange, Montmartre white and now I'm going to add a bit of metallic in here uh, why because I have it left over then go back to the so oh that actually this this is the Montmartre turquoise the other one is the Montmartre turquoise but I've added a dark blue to oh dear on popping out the other side now gosh okay so extreme extreme water full jiggle jillified whatever you want to call it just do it from your heart guys don't worry about any anybody else's criticism we're all our own worst critics but when you have got people criticizing you as well or you think you're not good enough because you see such wonderful pieces on um, the acrylic pouring uh, pages or YouTube channels those people all started somewhere we've all started somewhere and, it, and not that long ago so don't get intimidated because you just revert back to how it's making you feel actually doing it if you're not getting such good results or you think they're not such good results you can absolutely believe somebody else will love them and to give us gifts to your family and friends to start you off um, they will enjoy them because they're given from the heart so as you said just randomly layering these there is no rhyme or reason or no set uh, colors um, layers in certain areas I've absolutely done it from my own way I've been led to do it just by my heart that sounds corny doesn't it okay now we're going to do oops, just thinking should I lift no I'll do it this because I can lift this up here I'm not gonna um, I'm gonna try jiggling side to side and not up and down so here we go wish me luck guys so I'm gonna do the side to side thing oh those colors like they look good enough to eat oh my god Yum, yummo, yummo. Come on, come on, come on. So this is side to side. Side to side. It's like, um, was it really? I don't do line dancing, but for some reason it reminded me of line dancing. Don't tell me. Maybe side to side, your achy, breaky heart and all that jazz. But, oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So yeah, side to side, not forwards, backwards. This is side to side. It's like the, <laughs> reminds me of the heart monitors when you've got those little, um, oh, oh, I can't think of the name. Somebody will think of them and tell me. I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, oh, my hand's getting weird, not weary, but out of sync should I say yeah usually these two uh, these little split cups I got this split cup if you're in Australia I got this split cup from Lynn craft it's a craft store um, and they were meant for paint uh, it's got a lid st storing paint so I'll take it down a bit now because the paints reaching the bottom Okay. I've told myself this will be the last paint for the day in the art room. I, mind you, my husband's playing around on. He's um, got sort of a hovercraft from kit. He's building it up from the beginning. 
uh, we, when we went away a couple of weeks ago, we seen a guy with a hovercraft on the water and they said, oh, I've got to have one of those. But of course, they're very expensive to buy you new ones. So he said, I can make one of those. And he's a very, very clever at, um, well, he trained as a machine fitter, a machine fitter or a boiler maker or whatever. You, oh, I'm not sure of the exact terminology. I will ask him. But he did make tools, so he seems to be able to put his hand to absolutely everything where it's making tools for or, or objects, so it's really good like that. So I'm quite happy to let him not say anything, just let him do what his heart desires, because I think at our age particularly, we've both worked hard for what we've got. Um, we've worked physically worked hard for what we've got funny how people some say to you oh you're so lucky you're so lucky my response is yeah it's the the uh, funny isn't it the luckier you get the harder you work or the harder you work the luckier you get because it really is people not very rarely not very often people just come into a lot of money um, you know, people have to work for what they've got. So other people that whinge and whine, oh, look what you've got, everything, and I have to scrimp and say, well, you know, that's because of uh, things that they put in place in their life that have worked for them. It's for giving things a go, usually. So that does pee me off when I hear people say that. You're so lucky. It's nothing to do with luck most of the time, it's to do with hard work. Oh, I always have a sta I always have my few minutes, don't I, on my um soapbox doing my um <laughs> my pet peeve, I should call it. Okay, Jill Jilly's pet peeve time. Okay. That's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? It kind of looks like um, some kind of geographical landscape of something, you know. Maybe um, yeah, sort of. I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave. Okay, I'm not gonna tilt anymore. I'm gonna uh, bring some paint up from off the sides to pour over my corners. Just gonna with the spatula. I'm not gonna finger pop this one because I, I don't want that effect. But yeah, it's kind of um, not really uh, popping out of anything, but I'm absolutely going to. I know some people don't like it, so look, just turn the video off now if you like it as it is, or even if you don't like it as it is. Go make yourself a cuppa because I'm going to torch that and see if I can bring up the 3D clusters like the cluster cells that make the whole thing look like 3D. But no, there's me thinking those colours would absolutely pop. Not at the moment, they're not floating my boat right now. Don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but see, some people love that effect, but I don't. So I will bring my little magic butane torch and see if we can bring up some floating clusters. It sort of gives the whole, I believe, I know lots of people don't like them, but it gives, to me, it gives the artwork depth it make, really does make us, it look as though you've got the floating cells and it just gives it depth and I'm not really, bleh, I'm not really happy with, okay, my torch is running out, which I wondered when it would do, I have got another one but, Ooh, come on, come on baby, you're there, let's, I mean, this will develop, but yeah, I should have run a darker colour. If you were doing this, run a darker colour in between all those sort of 
blah colours. Um, yeah, it's not really a how I would have liked it to have come out. I'll give you a close-up. I can see the cells are um, lifting now and they do definitely do give like a 3D effect. But it's funny, the things that I think are the worst, I get the <laughs> biggest responses from. So there you go. It sort of looks like the ocean with a bit of sand on the bottom. Maybe like when you've been dumped in the ocean, that's what you see at the bottom. So probably not a nice reminder. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you so much for subscribing if you want to subscribe. And that's wonderful. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, leave your comments. And uh, obviously if they're positive, if they're negative, I don't want to know. Thank you. I like to keep my life in a positive vibe so um, yeah leave your comments for me and tell me what you think kindly please um, and yeah thanks so much for subscribing and if you want to hop over to my acrylic art by Jilly Cube Facebook page I usually put all my videos up on there as well well I do put all my uh, YouTube videos on there the links okay thanks so much see you again next time not happy with this one at all whether i tag this bit of video on the end i don't know i'm going to see but i'm going to just um have a play with this and i thought that i would definitely t run the video just in case it turned out something really awesome which i haven't got high hopes but i've turned it on see how we go and um believe it or not i've got this navy which almost looks black and I'm going to swipe it um, on the I'll, I'll go down the center I don't like it as it is so I would scrape it so I thought um, give it a swipe you know and see if I can bring up something that I like and that I will keep but because at the moment I wouldn't keep that um, oh, sorry I just turn the light off um, yeah, so I just thought, give it a swipe, see if you can bring up some magic on that. Oh, I can see that end of my swipe tool won't sit in the paint nicely. Oh, well, this is a thing. I've got one of these um, uh, silicon mats. It's not very good when you uh, uh, need to swipe. So you've got to have a piece of something ready to um, clean off your uh, swipe tool with. So that's a negative part. You've got to you've got to still really use um, a piece of kitchen towel or something, I suppose, which is not. It's a bit more environment friendly than the puppy pee pads. Look at those cells coming up. Huh. kind of looks like an out of space one for sure I'm really um, fiddling with this now I'm really struggling to save it <laughs> but you know give it a go and if you don't you just scrape it what what is it it's just some paint you've still got the canvas there just scrape it if you don't like it don't put up with something that you're not happy with unless you think somebody else would love it oh no, I'm not happy, Jan, with these silicon things because I can't just, like, I use my pee pad to swipe, um, to swipe the excess off. I don't like it. I don't like it for this particular technique. Okay. Oh, I can see something nice. Some, that I can absolutely see that this is going to be a save with this. Oh, I'm in the right mess here. Jilly, silly willy. Well, okay. <laughs> I've got a right mess going, oh my gosh. Okay, and now I know that I run out of gas. So let me see if, ah. 
okay, that don't do it. I have to turn my video off and go if I can't get this one to work. Nope, can't get that one to work. Okay, I'll turn the video off and I'll be back. I'll be back. One second, one second. Okay, okay, I'm back. I'm cooking with the gas. Husband's just are oh, just having trouble with all these. I'll just show you so you don't make the mistake. These um, it's nothing to do with the gas cylinders because the gas cylinders can be bought any camp shop or hardware these heads I've bought off eBay and they've only lasted that one didn't even last about three times this one lasted about I don't know maybe a month and it's just not igniting this it's not that the gas has run out this one uh, was a more heavy duty one which I got from my local Bunnings in Australia, which is, um, I'm not, I don't know what the equivalent is elsewhere, but it's a hardware store. And this one has been the best one, even though it seems the most fierce, especially when it's had a big new canister of uh, gas in it. So I just let it run for a second. I already, see where I just put that little bit of a flame on before? So I'll just, Try not to do the clusters, I'll try and go over it. I just want to see now I like that much better already. That's kind of looking um, night skyish, isn't it? I'm not going to do any more. Ha! She said, I'm not going to do any more already. I like that so much than the, the extreme water for Paul. So it started as uh, tr my trying, I mean, I have done quite a few water for pours and jiggles and juggles and whatever, but wasn't floating my boat. The other one, now I can see that this looks like the 3D effect that I did want to get up. Uh, and I, I like that it's got the negative space. I'll leave this now and these will obviously either they will stretch out or they'll just form their own little clusters floating around there but um, I won't scrape that now because I like that so ladies and gentlemen that is a um, little bit of education in there's something that don't turn out uh, like the waterfall pour didn't turn out but tried to save it and um, I believe I've saved that because the cells are absolutely gorgeous in that. That's lovely. And it's obviously still developing. So I will hopefully, I'll put some photos on at the end of this video to show you what they morphed into. But thanks so much for joining me again. Bye.